I'm going to explain something to everybody who doesn't play chess. The knight has the most fascinating move. In all of the chess pieces, they either move along columns or diagonals. All of them. Doesn't matter. Sometimes they take one step and they can move either on a column or a diagonal. Sometimes they can move the entire column or the entire diagonal. But the knight, the knight is restricted to a very specific move. The move is weird. You know what it is, yeah? Yes. All right. Look, if it starts on one of these 16 squares in the center, it can move eight different places. A knight can only move in an L. It can only move two spaces away from itself and then one space to the side. So, if it's starting here on number 37, it could move two spaces up and then one to the side there. Or, it could move two spaces over and one to the side here. Or two and one. Or two and one. Or two and one. Or two, one. Just like that. It can only move to those eight spaces. Now it gets harder. Because if it's not on those 16 squares, if it happens to be on the side. Well, then it can't move past the board. It can now only move to a very few squares. This one, that one that's already marked, this one, or this one. But if it's in a corner, <laughs> let's use this corner. It can only move to two squares. Yes. Can you stamp them out for everybody? It's the two white squares that are a diagonal and one square off. You see, he understands how the knight moves. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to direct you, while I'm blindfolded, to move the knight from square to square using only legal moves. And yet, I'm going to have you stamp out each and every square only once, never ever going back to the same square. Let's use a new page. He can start on any one of those 64 squares. But you may think there's some collusion going on. You may think that, that I actually know him. I, I've never met you before, have I? No, you haven't. That's exactly what someone would say if I had met them before and paid them to do this. Let's make it more random. Here. Jared? Yes. Turn your back and toss it into the audience anywhere at all. <laughs> it's me! I get to decide. No, 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 no. The the third person that catches the ball. There you go. Just toss it. That's person number one. Person number one, toss it to person number two. Person number two, toss it to person number three. Person number three, come up here and join us. There's no way we could have known that this guy was going to be selected from the back. What's your name? Matt. Okay, so Matt. Matt, you're going to stand here for just a second. Now, all you're going to do is decide where we start. And then Jared, because you play chess, you're going to make sure that I only do legal moves from that point on. Do you guys understand your job, your role, your responsibility? Because I'm going to be blindfolded. I'm going to put a blindfold on, okay? And I have to stay very close to the chair so I know where it is, all right? And then, while I take a little nap, I want you to just place the knight absolutely anywhere on the board on any one of those squares. As soon as you've done that, then you can take your seat. Let's give a big round of applause. Now, Jared. Yes. Yeah. No, I know you're here. All right. The first thing I have to do is to figure out where he was likely to start. If I name a square that you can't go to, you just let me know. All right? So I don't think that Matt would go for the 16 center squares, but I also don't think that he would go for an edge. I don't think he would go for a corner. 
So I'm going to take a, a, a shot in the dark here. And I'm going to say, he's close to a corner. I believe that there's a legal move to the corner at number 64. Am I right? You're correct. Move it to 64 and stamp it out. Now move it to 54. Stamp it out. From there, you can move it many different directions, but let's go to square number 60. That's a legal move? Yes. If it's not a legal move, you stop me. 45. Yes. 28. Yes. 38. Yes. Uh, let's go to 21. Let's go to 36. Yes. Then to 30. Yes. Up to 15. Yes. Over to the side, 32. Should be to your right. Yes. 22. Up to the top edge to 7. Back over to the right edge to 24. 39. Back to the right edge to 56. Down to the bottom to 62. So far, it's been easy. Whew. So let's go 52. Now we're going to get close to the other corner. Let's go to 42. Down to the corner, that's 57. So if you came from 42, you can only go back out by hitting 51. Now down to the, your leading edge, which is 61. Let's go uh, up to 55. Over to the right edge to 40. 46. Down to 63. Close to the corner. Back over to the right edge to 48. Come back into 31. Go up to 16. All the way up to 6. Uh, down and over to 12. Stop me at any time if it's not a legal move. From 12, there's a couple of possibilities, but I like... Uh, let's go to another corner. So let's go 18 first. It's not the corner, but we're moving to the corner. 18. Now move to 1. That's the other corner. Then hit 11. We're about halfway done. Try 5. That's the only way out. 20. 20. We're close to the uh, center squares now in 20. Let me do these fast. They, they should all be legal. Listen carefully. 37. 27. 44. 29. 35, 35, 50, yes. okay, we've got one on the edge, uh, open 33, yes. 43, back down to the bottom to 58, to that uh, left edge to 41, 26, left edge to 9, up to the top to three. Thirteen. Twenty-three. That brings us into the corner at eight. Back out at fourteen. Back up to four. Ten. Over to the left edge, twenty-five. Nineteen. To the top at two. Back to the left edge at 17. 34. Left edge, 49. There should be three squares left. Bottom edge, 59. Up to 53. Back where we started at 47. 